What's going on, people? So, this is a box of shoes, right? Came in from Nike. I don't think I need that knife. Came in from Nike a few days ago or something, right? So, I tried to order, I bought a bunch of stuff from them recently, and I tried to do like the expedite shipping on all of it. But some of it, they said, no, we can't do it actually, and then they gave me like slightly slower shipping. The reason I did that was so I could avoid potentially having to go through laser ship, right? Because I don't know how everybody else's experiences are going out there, but to me, that is like the worst way to ship anything, right? It's like the customer service is just kind of like non-existent. You know, you ask like, hey, can this happen or whatever? Can you do this? Can we not, not do this? And they're just like, oh, sorry for your inconvenience. It's like, no, no, you're, you're not really hearing me, you know? But that's just me. Maybe other people are having different experiences out there. So if you've got one that doesn't really line up with mine or does, go ahead and leave that down below because I'm mildly curious to see if it is just me. Down there around the side of the box, there's some stuff on there that shows you what's in the box. That's generally how that works. This says cream, iron gray, rattan, hemp. Okay, whatever. So let's go ahead and let's get these things opened up, right? Yeah, I wanted a pair of these like a while ago because I wanted to see what they were all about, you know? Because when it comes to like Air Max models and whatnot, those tend to intrigue me a little bit more than your average shoe release or whatever. So I've gone over that before, talking about like the different models and how I feel about some of them and whatnot. And this was one that just never quite worked out for some odd reason. But now it's here and I'm able to get them in hand up close and all that in a colorway that I'm more on board with than some of the ones that I had seen and had access to. So I'm gonna get these here and talk about them in just a second here. Just wanted to make sure everything looked like it was supposed to look, right? And it does. It's actually one of the few times that I've picked up a pair of Nike shoes and that's why I'm looking at them again and not seeing anything. Sometimes the stuff doesn't really show up until you actually like are doing the review going over all the details, but so far it looks like these are like good, you know? I normally expect there to be something wrong with every pair of Nikes that I have, you know? It's almost like a Where's Waldo situation. You just kind of got to look for it. But we'll see. Maybe it'll pop up at some point. Regardless, let's go ahead and knock out a review on these right here. This is the Nike Air Tuned Max in the cream and hemp and rattan and whatever other colors they mentioned on the side of the box. I don't know what colors they had on the, on the screens or on like the Nike side or whatever, but... Either way, there's a bunch of crap on the side of the box. You probably saw that. Starting with the bottom. Down there, what you're looking at is an outsole that kind of reminds me of the Air Max Plus to some extent. It's slightly different, right? But it just kind of has that sort of vibe. Either way, it's not as good. I'll just give it that right off the top. But this is just going to be like you're playing gray all across, right? So you got that. Now, as you move on up here to the midsole and whatnot, so on the side, you've got this big, thick, chunky midsole here going on. And then down below that, you've got the big bubble in the back, right? And so it does kind of extend pretty far into the shoe, so I do like that. And at the same time, it kind of makes me think of, I want to say it's the Air Max Plus 3, as far as like the way that they did the bubble, mostly on the inside or so. But either way, it looks like it should be pretty comfortable. I'll find out in a little, little bit here. And that seems to be a full length zoom thing or full length air thing. So that's pretty cool. You usually like that stuff, you know? Anyways, moving on. So as you can tell by like the pictures and stuff of this here shoe, it's not, not a whole lot of flash and pizzazz to it like some of the other things that I go for. But every so often stuff like this is just enough to pull me in, right? I like this, co this color combination. So we're going to get in here talk about some of the details, give you guys some pictures and whatnot, and see what's going on with these things all in all, right? Because that's how reviews work, or at least the way, the way I do reviews, right? Everybody has their own take on it, but I figure if you do them in the way that you would want to watch them, then you'll attract the people who would also like to watch that style, right? So more like-minded people, right? So that's why I do things the way I do things, right? I know it doesn't really speak to everybody, but those people it doesn't speak to, I probably don't care, you know? Anyways. Moving on, down here around the toe box, right? So, first off, this whole lining thing, you got this little silvery style thing going on, right? So that's kind of cool. It's just gonna be like typical plasticky feel that you see on a lot of Air Maxes and stuff like that. So it gives a nice little shimmer to it, right? Now, beyond that, and like in between the areas and stuff, you've got this little mesh thing, which feels pretty nice on the, on the surface and all that. It's very soft. 
So I do like that piece of it. Looks like it's gonna be some pretty good ventilation, which is a good thing, especially coming up in the warmer months, which will be around soon. And that's gonna be in some sort of a beige, grayish, whatever color. And so across the top of the toe box and all that, you still got a lot, a lot of that same stuff, right? It just gives you like basically from a different angle, you know? And so now as we move on to the side here, we got these little plastic pieces on the outside and there's also some plastic pieces on the inside, right? This is a slightly different design is all that is. But either way, you have that going on. And so that's just kind of like lay down on this to give it a little bit of, a um, little bit of something, a little bit of flash perhaps. And behind that is just a lot more of that sort of mesh style, the upper that you saw on the front, just more so on the back, right? So moving along all the way to the back, since we're kind of talking about that, you have a lot, a lot of that plasticky silver stuff going on back here. So that kind of outlines everything as you're seeing. And then as you get to the very back on there, right, you've got those dots, which I believe stood for like the Alpha Project, or at least that's what they did on for the Prestos. Not sure if that fits in with this or if that's a totally different thing. And then above that, you've got this here Nike swoosh, right? And one of the things that I, that I did really like about these is this little green part here. Kind of like some sort of like, I don't know, almost has like an iridescent vibe to it, but it's not. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, slime or something? Something that I saw when I was in my youth days, you know what I'm saying? But I do like it. It, it stood out and I was like, you know what, this is, this is the one. This is the one where I'm finally going to jump in on these, right? So there we go. There's that for you. Now, moving on back over to like the lacing section on the front so we can get things wrapped up, right? These, I guess it's maybe this is the cream color that they were talking about. I don't know. But either way, you got these standard laces here. They're the same color all throughout, even down to the tips and whatnot. No, no big flash or flare happening here. And it's just going to be like the same standard ones that you see on like a lot of Air Max Pluses and whatnot, which I'm seeing a lot of similarities to the Air Max Plus going on here. So... Which is a good thing because that's one of my more liked Air Max models, right? I've said that in the past once or twice or several times maybe. Anyway, so you got that, right? Now, moving down in here behind that, right? At the very bottom, you can kind of see there's a slightly different tongue type area. So it feels like a very smooth, like almost like nylon or something, right? And that's just going around the whole outside of the tongue for the most part. And then in the middle area, I'm not sure what this is, but it feels very nice. Almost feels like some kind of suede or nubuck type of thing going on with a little bit of plastic gray stuff mixed in there. And then as you get to the top area, you have the same sort of visual you saw on the back with the dots and the swoosh, right? So there's that. Now, speaking on the tongue before I forget and move on and don't mention it. So this tongue, it is kind of like stitched to the actual shoe, so it doesn't really move around a whole lot. So if you can kind of look in there, or whatever, and obviously there will be pictures to show you this. But yeah, so that's kind of how it's looking, right? Kind of a weird choice, but you know, maybe it won't matter. I don't know. And then on the back end area, basically you see more of what you saw on the around the tongue piece, right? So that, that silky smooth sort of feel going on. So that's cool. Now, going on to the inside of the shoe real quick, as far as like the back end piece goes, like where your heel, ankle would be. This is looking to be very padded, and I do like the way this feels because it's feeling really soft, right? So I like that a whole lot, and it just kind of has a cool visual with the way they did the pattern on here. And then you've got almost what seems to be like some fake leather type of look going on right after that piece. And then as you get down into the upper, you see like the mesh that I was talking about, and as you can see, there's a lot of room to breathe down in there, right? As far as like on the outsides and stuff where the mesh was. And now, the actual insole which is usually the thing i lead with so this on both of them just has the, the dots down in there but it also has some other dots down in there so use context clues to see which what i'm talking about but either way so those other ones right i kind of like the way they do that because it kind of gives it like a cool look you know just when you're looking at it it's got all these things going on kind of makes it look like it has some 3d depth to it or whatever because i mean technically it does right but overall, yeah, that's a pretty cool look going on in here. It's not one that you can really show off or anything to people, but like I said in a review I did recently, just knowing that it's there is kind of all right sometimes. Anyway, so there we go. I believe I've covered everything there is to say about like the visual of this shoe and whatnot. So let's go ahead and give you guys some personal thoughts, whatnot, and then we'll move on into sizing and whatnot once I get these tried on. Now, I've been waiting on a pair of these to come along in the right color and preferably for the right price. And 
both of those things finally happened, right? And thanks to whatever was going on, I was able to get like a slightly deeper discount, you know, based off of sales and stuff, because the price was already low, right? And so looking at these in hand now that I've waited X number of months to finally see a pair, I'm actually on board. So Kyle Martin had been putting up a lot of these. Well, I don't know if he put up a lot of these, but he definitely put up at least one. And I was like, yeah, those are looking pretty good. And so that kind of helped me make my decision. And this one, so far, so good. I'm really liking the way that they did the visual on here. It's got a little bit of extra stuff going on, which is sometimes not okay to me, but it's not a whole lot. So in that way, it's like, it's making it still okay, right? They didn't go to the point of being gaudy or whatever. So they got close to the line, I think, right? But they knew where to stop. And partially like the color selection comes into play on that. And that's what kind of helps make things look a little better than they might look on other releases, right? But overall, yeah, the price of these was solid as far as, you know, what I paid. And now that I see what they actually look like up close and I'm able to look in here, get all the details and all that stuff, these are looking pretty good. However, I don't know how they feel yet. And that's what might break this whole thing down, right? And into into a place where I don't want it to go. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty hopeful, right? So let me go ahead, get these tried on. Do my little turn on the catwalk. And we'll see what goes on and I'll get back to you guys and let you know how I feel. Okay, so far so good. We'll start with the sizing, right? So nine and a half, right? I bought these in a nine and a half because my foot, if measured, is a true to size nine and a half, right? So tends to work out on a lot of things and especially with air maxes right so i want true to size on this it's working out fine for me however here's the thing right this is a bit of a slim build it's like a very slim build right all around top uh, front to back side to side all that stuff right so if you're worried about like you know having too little room or something in here yeah that's that's valid and you might want to step things up just a little bit right but for me, I'm good, right? So if you generally side with me on other things, maybe you'll be okay too. But if you don't want to take the chance, then there you go, do whatever makes sense, right? I'm wondering how much they'll, they'll break in and all that good stuff. I don't know that they'll do that a whole lot just because like some of the materials on here or whatever, I feel like they're not really going anywhere. But it's something that I want to pass on to you. So just take that as a warning or advice or suggestion, however you want to look at it is up to you, right? But past that though, they do feel really good. Like in the upper walking around in them, I do really like that. Like I said, got some nice ventilation in here so your feet probably won't get all super warm and whatnot. So if you're looking for that all day wear, this is something that you should probably consider, especially like when it starts to get a little warmer wherever you might live. Now, moving on past that though, down to like this here under section, like where the midsole and the air bubbles and all that stuff is, right? So that is feeling fine too. I will say out of the box, it feels just a little bit stiff, right? But you could say that about a lot of shoes like this, though just given what I've seen of these and what I've experienced with other shoes that were like similarly built, sometimes it just takes a little while for things to kind of like hit their true potential or whatever. And these, I'm feeling like that's what's going on here because otherwise like the construction is solid, right? So I think if I was to wear these for a day or whatever, just out walking around more than just like a few minutes right here, I feel like these would probably do very well for me. So again, like I was saying before, I like to get all day wear type shoes, right? And this one right here, I've got no complaints on it. I'll probably do some kind of follow up at some point, maybe like, you know, just on the Instagram or something like where I kind of used to do like my kicks of the day videos or whatever. But you know, just to kind of follow up. But yeah, these, I'm thinking these are gonna be pretty solid. Just don't expect anything too amazing right when you take them out of the box. Just gotta, just gotta give them a minute, you know what I'm saying? But overall though, I think you'll be happy with these if you do pick up a pair for the right price, of course, because the retail price, well, retail price isn't even on here for some reason, but the retail price is a little steep, right? But, you know, Nike's always throwing deals out there because they gotta get these things moved out so they can get new stuff moved in or you're in stores, whatever. So you should be able to find something for whatever you want to pay for it for the most part, you know, as long as you don't have like crazy high standards and you know, you gotta be realistic, right? Either way, so there we go. Got this whole thing knocked out. For some reason, it kind of made me want to wear my Air Max Tailwinds again, because I haven't worn those since, well, I've worn those the one time that I wore them, right? But either way, I'm good now. 
if you got questions or whatever that I didn't cover, you can leave those down below. But from from now, for now anyways, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am done recording reviews for today. So I'm going to, and I've also edited some this morning, so I'm not going to do any more of that today. That might be a tomorrow endeavor. We'll see what happens. But I'll figure that out on my own time. You guys do whatever you do because now it's your time. So later, people.